Welcome to College Football Stadiums, where I give an overview of every stadium I visit throughout the season. Today, we'll head back to the Upper Peninsula with Northern Michigan, which was founded in 1899. It has a 7,000 enrollment. It's one of 16 U.S. Olympic training sites and the second largest Olympic training site. It has plenty of famous alumni. It's located in Marquette, Michigan, which has a 20,000 population, making it the largest city on the Upper Peninsula. It's located on the shores of Lake Superior. Marquette has the 140th largest port in the U.S., and it hosted a NHL preseason game in 2016 between the Buffalo Sabres and Carolina. Northern Michigan Hockey won the national championship in 91. They were national runner-up in 1980, and they went to the Frozen Four in 81. Northern Michigan basketball has a famous alum in Tom Izzo, and pictured below is Tom Izzo and Steve Mariucci in 1977. And on the right, Tom Izzo is the guy on the ladder. Northern Michigan football won the national championship in 1975. They went from 0-10 to national champions. They were the only team in NCAA history to go from winless to national champions. They had wins over Eastern Michigan, Central Michigan, Eastern Illinois, Western Illinois, Youngstown State, Western Kentucky, and Boise State. Their quarterback was Steve Mariucci, and alumni include Jerry Glanville, Steve Mariucci, Lloyd Carr. Before the Superior Dome, Northern Michigan played in two stadiums. One was Northern State Athletic Field from 1928 through 1946. It was acquired by the school in 1928, where Kay Hall is, and then Memorial Field from 1947 through 1990 with the 7,400 capacity, and it had a two-ton bronze bell from 1857 that told for every touchdown. It was a long process for Northern Michigan to get the Superior Dome. In 1971, the university proposed in all events $4 million, 12,000 seat, 16,000 capacity mini dome. It would be modeled after Idaho State's ASISU mini dome, but students voted it down 75% to 24%, as it would have meant $20 per semester fees. And then in 1977, the school administration tried again, but to predominantly negative feedback. Instead, Northern Michigan ended up waiting until 1989 for construction to start on the Superior Dome. Northern Michigan had become the U.S. Olympic Training Center in 85. The Superior Dome would be the type of dome with a self-bracing framework of triangles. Its dimensions would be 536 feet in diameter and 14 stories tall. There would be a $23.9 million construction cost. Phase 1 would come in 1991. That would be the dome stadium structure. 21.8 million via the state of Michigan. And then phase two would come in 1995. That would be locker rooms, offices, retail stores. And that was 2.1 million, 800,000 of which came via donations. And then 1.3 million came from loans. The Superior Dome would have the world's largest retractable artificial turf carpet. And the Superior Dome would be the world's largest wooden dome structure by diameter as the Tacoma Dome was taller with more capacity. The Superior Dome seats 8,000, but it has a 16,000 capacity. Its first game was in September 14, 1991, with 7,942 in attendance. Its attendance record is 8,672, set in the Miners' Cup versus Michigan Tech in 2008. And it was built after Northern Michigan was selected as an Olympic training center. It was the only U.S. Olympic education center on a college campus with special training areas for the U.S. OECs, boxing, wrestling, and weightlifting teams. George W. Bush made a presidential visit in 2004 for a rally in front of record attendance of 11,000. He was actually introduced by Northern Michigan alum Steve Mariucci. This was the first sitting presidential visit to the Upper Peninsula since William Howard Taft in 1911. Incredibly, William Howard Taft's military aide bathed in Lake Superior, came down with a severe cold, was sent to Europe for help, and then tragically died on the way home on the Titanic. President Obama also visited Northern Michigan and Marquette in 2011, but he was in a different venue, so he did not enter the Superior Dome. The Superior Dome serves as a community benefit as it's open nearly all the time. If you do 10 laps around the concourse that equals three miles, you'll see people walking around there all the time. Then you have kids and families on the field throwing balls around. It's kind of the unofficial town square. And on the concourse, which you'll see 
these exhibits and the photos at the end. There's a lot of exhibits there, like the Upper Peninsula Wildlife, the U.S. Olympic Training Center exhibit. It also has a Olympic videos kiosk that you can play. Then there's a Michigan Special Olympics exhibit and a Northern Michigan Athletics exhibit. The Superior Dome also set the world record for the largest game of freeze tag on March 28, 2017, live with Al Roker on the Today Show. There were 634 participants.